What is up, boss boys? This is Awesome Factor here. Welcome back to another episode of Dramatical Murder. And today, we're just waking up from whatever we just went through. I don't remember quite clearly. We went to like some. I, I I honestly don't remember. I think we went back into the past and we remembered like our past self. But apparently, our past self was called Sly Blue. Or that was his nickname in rhyme. So. Thank you, Oscars, for letting me know on that. I, I hate when I make mistakes, but that's why you, Oscars, there to correct me. So, he still has the desire side, but apparently, from what I heard from you, Oscars, is that his Sly Blue, or his, like, past self, if you will, is, like, a mixture of both the Aoba we see now and the desire Aoba. So, it's a weird thing. I don't know how else to explain it. I, apparently, that's what you, Oscars, said. I could be wrong again. I don't know. Just, yeah, I get it. It really does help me a lot when you, Oscars, mention that and it also helps out other people so keep up the great work awesome in the comment box and anyways without further ado let's go ahead and begin some more dramatical murder <clears throat> when i regain consciousness i quickly raise my head and see nothing but the same white hall around me but both the guard and toa are gone of course they are that vicar vic vicarious memory thing was that because of his song my past i forgot it all but the me before i was completely wrong huh Someone's pulling on my arm. It's Mink. When I was facing my forgotten past and lost myself, someone held onto my hand. Was that Mink? Secretly thankful, I look his way. Mink, that again, that's how powerful Clear could be, man. Like he freaking took out Mink like no big deal. The moment I speak, I gain a sense of dread. Mink. <laughs> oh my goodness, is he actually not good? His body, his giant body jerks. Meek is on his knees and hands on the ground. Is he, do, what, when you say his body's jerking, do you mean like, um, the thing down south, you know, the tower, the, yeah, I don't know how else to put it. Um, is that jerking? I, I you never know. With Meek, you never know. And I heard him make those groans before. When I heard those groans before, bad things started to happen. I had to mention it. <laughs> Yeah, what, what's wrong? Astonished at his current state, I lean over him. Rivers of sweat dripping down from his cheek all the way to his chin, and the sound of his ragged breathing fills the room. I've never seen this mink before. I lightly shake his shoulder. Oi, mink. I, mink. I think... Yeah, he's not okay. He doesn't respond, no matter how loud I yell. Is my voice not reaching him? The only thing I could think of is like, He wasn't ready! He wasn't ready. Mink was not ready for the Alpha Clear to just hit him with a song. Out of all things, a song. His eyes are open, but he's not looking at anything. We've come so far, and now this happens. I'm surprised you're so forgiving of him after the things he done to you. I'm just saying. Pushing people around, doing awful things. Even though he brought me all the way here just to use me. But I was captivated by just how ruthless his will was. Of course Mink and I went this far together only because our objectives were the same. But I wanted to know what the coldness in Mink's eyes were from. Not his goal, but what a person could achieve with just his firm will. I wanted to know. <laughs> Mink held my hand. Fast back there, so I'll return the favor. Right now, I have only one way of saving Mink. By using Scrap. There's no guarantee that I'll save him, but it might even break him apart. But the chance of wor chance of it working isn't zero. I grab Mink's jaw and lightly raise it up. His pupils were like a deep black sea. I fix my gaze dead straight into his eyes and speak in a low, deep voice. Mink. <laughs> oh my goodness, Aoba strikes back! That needs to be the sequel to this right now. Instead of him receiving, he's gonna go take it inside of Meek. Surprisingly so. <laughs> oh yeah, even Meek's like, no, this is not right. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't go inside of me, I go inside of you. Um, <laughs> this is what Dramatic Murder has done to me. Anytime, I know what he means by let me go inside of you, but I can't help but to think about the other thing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my goodness. Into his inner walls? 
I don't know how far Emil's thing he goes, but I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, like his, uh, his, uh, <laughs> I don't know his, uh, I'm not going to say anything because I know whatever comes out of my mouth is going to be bad. I don't want to know how deep it goes. Um, <laughs> don't ever know. I don't want to know. Let's, let's not think about that. I'm assuming we're about to get to the part where we're going to be choosing between the good or bad ending. And I don't know. I don't know what to expect. With Mink especially, I don't know. Because I know, like, Clear surprised the hell out of me. What the fuck did that come from? Kojaku's was easy. That was by far the easiest one. Noises was... It was easy. I just overlooked it. Simple as that. I wasn't patient enough. This one, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but what, what happened here? Screams pierced my eardrums, unconsciously causing me to flinch. Screams, roars, explosions, and crying voices, gunshots. Surrounded by the sound of chaos, I can only continue to stand frozen in place. The areas, that, the, the areas, really? The area is thick with trees with a deep red fire dancing around it, leaving a trail of smoke. Above me is a starless night sky, but around me it's as bright as day. Under the dark sky, crowds of shadow, shadows run about in a frenzy. People escaping, and other people chasing after them. The ones running away are most likely Mink's people, and the pursuers tow as Ink's people. These are no doubt Mink's memories of the past. What weighs down his heart, the wound that still bleeds. So we're about to see what killed, what caused his family to die. We're going to see what, we, we might see the experiment, I don't know. Suddenly my heart jumps as my entire body, body burns up. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot! The flames are scorching! Okay, I th I'm glad you mentioned the... I'm glad you were talking about the flames, because I thought you were talking about your hot ride for a second. I was about to say, Alba, it's not the time now. Definitely not the time. Just like it's a terrible time to make this joke, but I can see my limbs burning, but they're hot. Or, but they're not. God damn it, Jermaine. Look what you did to me! Now I see not, and now I see hot instead. <laughs> the exact same with rhyme. My brain is taking the damage, I'm only hallucinating. But this... This feels as painful as in real life. I take in heated breath, breathing, turning into suffocating as my lungs feel as if they're burning. <laughs> don't choke too hard now. I mean, we don't want another mink moment. Oh, man. <laughs> this is a reality. It's the same thing as watching something that's been recorded. I know that, but the pain, the strained tears, they made me want to vomit. As if I lay a final blow, as if to lay a final blow, the dying screams of people tear at my drums, or tear at my drums. Man, but I have to keep going. I need to find Mink. I hold my arms close to me, try to protect myself from the flames that slowly advance. This isn't reality. This is fake. This has all happened in the past. With nothing in mind other than that, I look for Mink within the screams and deaths. Not here. He's not anywhere. Where is Mink? That can't be Mink. No way. A scream of terror sounds behind me. That can't be Mink. No. What's up with this lag all of a sudden? This is like ridiculous lag. It's the particles. It's the fire particles that are causing this lag. Um, I don't know. Should I? Um. No. Uh, no. Um, what? Should I? I don't know, because it's like what Aloba said, um, this is all recorded, so maybe helping him would help his mind out? But if I don't help him, I, everything's going to play like it was, and maybe we might find out the real truth behind it, but I don't know. I really don't know. I want to help him, but at the same time, can I really help him? Probably not. Because, uh, after all, I'm just there. I'm just a hallucination. I have to be. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Osmos. I really don't know. I'm going to go ahead and say... I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to... I, I, oh, okay, I'm going to... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by so if he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, didn't get anything. I don't know. I don't even know what I just did. I am going to go ahead and say... Don't help him. I hope my hands are wrong. Please. 
I don't know. If this is all hallucination, I feel like it's just a bluff. I don't know. The violent scream stops me, but I have to keep searching for Mink. I close my eyes and walk away from the voice. Damn it! I don't know this again. A different voice comes from behind me. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, lag. I get you. I don't know. I don't know. I want to help. I want to help. I'm not sure. What Mink do? Okay. Alba even said he wants to find Mink. Uh, that wasn't Mink, apparently, that he hears. I, he's pretty sure about that. I'm pretty sure it's not Mink. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to do. Like, from what I've seen from every route, every route, like, has, like, a meaning when it comes to these choices. Like, they want us to understand something. Like, I guess put ourselves in their shoes type of thing. Well, I, no, I couldn't put that. I couldn't, I can't say that because then none of it, that doesn't make any sense. All I know is that from this route, all I learned is that Mink has a goal and he goes to it. And I don't know whether that's right or wrong, no matter what measure it takes. Like, what should I do what Mink would do and just not help and just go get Mink? Or should I help this guy and not regret anything? That is the real... Damn it, I hate this. I hate this so freaking much. I don't know. <laughs> I, for my learner of this route, you just gotta keep moving forward. That is what I'm gonna do, and I hate myself. I don't know. I don't know if this is even right. I don't know. I can't. I have to search for Mink. My heart hurting. I advance towards the door. Oh, god damn. It's a woman. I... <laughs> That's a kid! It's a kid! <sighs> no! Those voices! I turn my head in surprise and I see a soldier chasing after some children. These- there are three of them. They remind me of those bratty siblings. Oh my god. Fuck. I can't. I can't. This is- This is too much. I, I have to help him. I have to help him. I can't handle it, man. I'm afraid I'm choosing the wrong ones. Please. Unable to desert them, I jump over to the soldier and deliver a kick. He disappears like smoke. God damn it, I fell for it. I fell for it. I fell for it. I fell for it. No. Big bro. Oh. So what I, what I said before, was I right? I heard, what the hell was that sound? I heard something that was not... I felt like a giggle or something. Okay, I'm scared of death now. I, I never know. I'm always prepared for a jump scare nowadays. Um, I somehow endured the pain and continue on. And eventually, the scenery changed. At some point, I walked into the warehouse. The inside of it is dark and raw with the smell of rust. Large chains hang from the scene. And below lay... Below them lay iron bars scattered on the floor. On the other side of the seemingly endless room was a wall and old looking door. Is me behind that door? I slowly inch closer to it. Please. Don't fucking scare me. I'm not in the mood to get scared at 4 o'clock in the morning right now. By the door are, are small square rooms and the figure of a back that I know all too well. <gasps> Mink. I finally found him! I run to him and Meek suddenly turns his head. Okay. Okay, I'm, I was... You never know, man, okay? I, I'm scared for a lot of reasons. This room looks creepy as... Okay. Uh, oh, we are? That's great, he's fine. Are you telling me I made the right decisions? I close my eyes and concentrate on drawing the image of the outside world. Did I do good? When I open my eyes, I'm in Toa's white room. Mink is standing right next to me. We made it. It went more smoothly than I expected. Was Mink only trapped by those memories of the past? I thought I saw something he was holding even deeper inside of him, though. 
Still worried for me, I scan the room. Toa isn't here. Huh? Me grabs my shoulder? Uh, me, this is not the time to go and do stuff, if you know what I mean right now. This is not the time! Camera, I know! It doesn't make any sense! Why are you grabbing my shoulder? Why are we not going out this hall? Did you change your mind? Oh no. I know, camera. I don't know. I'm scared too, because this is not Meek. Like, this is something Meek wouldn't do. He wouldn't just change his mind on someone who killed his family. Like, there's no way. The dual eyes. Hell, a certain shine to them. I don't like zooming in on his eyes like that. What? What the fuck is going on? Why are we back? <gasps> Are you telling me we're doing Inception again? How many times do you have to go through Inception? How many memories deep we have to go into? I know you want to go deep inside of him, Aloe, but I know you do. But we just can't. I can't handle it anymore. Oh my goodness. I'm back here? In the forest of Meek's past? Why? I already finished the scrap. Or did we? No. It's not over. I'm still inside Meek's head. Scrap is... I failed. Meek's lower body is dyed red with a reflection of the flames, and he touches my cheek as his hair flows in the hot winds. I failed? Wait. Oh no. Kono Jokyo de. Futari sorotte bujini kirinuke rareruka doka wakaranai. Did I. Is this a bad ending? Nakara. Orewa motomo daijina mono dakeo motteik kotoni suru. Um, please don't tell me that's me. <laughs> Oh no. Mink's eyes are looking at me, but somehow they're not. The red flames reflect in his eyes. Suddenly, Jack comes over me, and I try to get away from him. Oh no, but he grabs me by the neck with both of his hands. Um, are you talking about this head, or are you talking about the head down there? <laughs> Um, Which one? Which head are you talking about? Are you gonna like rip it off? Or bite it? Or chop it? I, I don't think I smell like cinnamon, but. <laughs> I am deeply confused what you mean by all this. I have to get away. I feel that scrap. It's probably because I changed the past. Oh my god. I should have heard my instinct. No, I did it. I can't believe it. I... I was actually right! I shouldn't have fucking saved those kids! I knew it! I knew it! And I screwed it up! And I screwed up my hat! Have you ever had that moment before where you, <laughs> you should have stuck with your gut and said you just didn't and everything goes wrong? This is exactly what is happening right now! And now, well, thank goodness I'm not paying for it. Aloba has to pay for it, so I'm sorry, Aloba, but I think you don't mind. Well, except. I'm not sure what Teddy's talking about, so you might actually mind in a second, but I... <laughs> you get mind? Yeah, he might lose his mind. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I say the people being caught and killed by the soldiers. That may have disturbed Meek's memories. The past is something that has already happened. You can't change it now. So, I had to watch instead of intervene. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No! Mink hugs me tightly. No! Not my soul! Your soul is mine! What the fuck was that? Did he actually rip off my head or something? No! No! No, 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 no. <gasps> Oh! 
No, why did you? This is not Mortal Kombat. What the? F Mink! How are we gonna do it now? You ripped off my head. There, no, I mean, I'm. No, what? No, 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 no. Oh. 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 Mink! Oh my god. You know what I just thought about? It. He has multiple holes he can still use. What, what was I talking about? Of course he's gonna be okay with this. He's. Oh my god. Mink! No! Oh my god. What have I done? Oh my goodness. That had to be the most disturbing ending we ever had. That had to be! And you know what pisses me off about it? Is I was freaking right! From the beginning, I should have just stuck with my gut. Because even I said, I, even if we helped out, it would probably do nothing because we are in his past. And of course, I'm like, oh. <laughs> That was the shortest, by the way. That was by far the shortest bad end we ever had. <sighs> oh my goodness. Man, this music's much different than the other ones. <laughs> this is like a complete metal song. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I really can't. So I'm pretty sure what I should have done, which I'll do next episode, I will definitely not... I will decide not to help anybody out. I should have done that. I should have stuck with my gut and didn't help anybody. But you know what? I could have helped it. When the kids ask for help, I, I had to do it. I mean, it's just... <laughs> it sucks. I just want to help people out. That's all I want to do. I didn't mean to help them out for the bad. It was worse to get my head ripped off. Which makes it even weird because technically our head didn't get ripped off. I mean, well, it did get ripped off, but in Mink's head it got ripped off, so... Does that mean our actual head gets ripped off in real life? See, these questions... This is like complete inception right now. Like, I am not sure if our actual head got ripped off. It's me on me right now. Who knows? Our bodies are probably just laying on the floor. And we're just dead. That could be the case too. But at the moment, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that we're sort of okay. I don't know. I don't know how this world works sometimes. But that's why you Oscars are here to let me know in the comment box down below. If your head gets ripped off in the someone else's head, does that mean your actual... And it's not only an exception, by the way. I'm thinking of also the Matrix. Does your actual head get ripped off? Like, as well? Like, I don't know how that works, but... That... I should have stuck with my gut. Like, I, I still... That's all going to be in my head right now. I should have stuck with my gut and not decide to help out those kids, but I couldn't help it. It literally pierced my heart. It's like, I had to help them. They're so innocent. And of course I did, and it did absolutely nothing. <sighs> well, at least I know what to do next time. I don't even have to look that one up next time. I'm pretty confident in saying that all I had to do was not help anybody out. I doubt helping each and every person out is going to be the best scenario. I don't think that's the case. I, I'm, I'll look it up just in case for the next episode, but I'm pretty sure to get the good end. I I didn't need to help out anybody. That was the thing. Gosh. That, oh, gosh. I'm still not happy about that. But you know what? I, I was going to say that's a good bad end, but I don't know. I, I, I could care less about this bad end, honestly. I don't know. It's better than the nice world bad end from uh, not Kajakas I'm sorry from Noise Israel it's like the second bad end because that one was just confusing to me I didn't know that didn't make any sense or everybody was pixelated I don't know how that was a bad end and I don't understand what the heck that ending meant but this one was better than that one but it's still like not my favorite I would say I, I mean, it's completely random he's just like I'm just gonna rip your head open Mortal Kombat sound <laughs> it definitely shocked me that is for sure Maybe later on I'll understand why he wanted to keep my soul. I don't understand, but maybe one day I'll understand. But at the moment, I won't. I will. That was definitely brutal, though. It was decent. It was a good bad end, I guess. I actually think about it. I, I, I just don't understand why. 
He had to do that to us. And why is the screen still black? Again, I hate it because I don't want a jump scare to happen. Oh, lost awesome ones. Wow. Wow. That is all I got to say. But I did hope you enjoy this bad end of Meeks Ralph. You guys leave a like and share the video if you did enjoy. Don't subscribe to the I'll see you guys later with some more Neko Pot of Volume 2. A special announcement along with Undertale and another episode of Dramatical Murder going on Meeks Good Route. And then, in case you also don't know, we're going to be going on Ren's Route right after. And then we're going to be doing Virus and Trips. That's going to be the order after Meeks. And yeah, until then, I'll see you guys later, okay? Love you, don't forget to stay awesome.